One of the most wanted men in the world, the leader of the Taliban in Pakistan, a $5 million bounty on his head, now dead, killed by a U.S. drone. His young looks in stark contrast to his crimes, the alleged mastermind of that grisly plot portrayed in the movie Zero Dark Thirty. Tonight, U.S. officials saying simply, we got him. ABC's chief investigative correspondent, Brian Ross, tonight. For the CIA, getting Haki Mullah Massoud was personal. He was considered a mastermind of the attack that killed seven CIA officers at an Afghan outpost in 2009, as portrayed in the movie Zero Dark Thirty. Massoud gloated over the CIA deaths and later released a video he made with the suicide bomber used in the attack. I think this was a very important strike. It kills the uh, leader of an organization that is a major threat to the United States. But he will be replaced. Only in his mid-30s, it was Massoud who led the Pakistan Taliban to expand its reach to America. The foiled bombing in New York's Times Square in 2010 was organized by Massoud. The bomber, Fezal Shahzad of Connecticut, trained with Massoud in Pakistan and appeared in this video denouncing the U.S. In the last few weeks, Massoud had appeared on the BBC saying he was open to peace talks but would continue to try to kill Americans. The U.S. got him first. Some U.S. officials say killing Massoud with the drone attack is the most significant victory against terrorism since the death of Osama bin Laden. As one of them told my colleague Martha Raddatz today, it is a good day. Our chief investigative correspondent, Brian Ross, tonight.